Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I'm of course your host Aaron and today is called a reshoot because I reshot a lot of these videos and unfortunately all came out like crap. Something was going on with my sound, I finally figured it out. So we gotta get rolling with a fresh edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. About a week ago, Funko Shop finally dropped the Chopper and the Chance at a Chase metallic version of Chopper dressed as a samurai. Now, when they dropped that, I was so excited, except I learned about it about 7 to 10 minutes later after the drop, and I completely missed out. I wouldn't have a chance at the common or the chase if I didn't buy the bundle already from a third party distributor, which I hope comes through, but it was a letdown anyway. I really wanted a chance to just try it from the Funko shop, give me like 50-50 chance, a little roulette. It would have been fun. However, there are a lot of people who have been posting on Instagram and Twitter today that there have been major delays in the shipment of these choppers. Now, some people did receive them. Uh, there were a few people on the East Coast that were, did get them. Some guy was going back and forth with me because I said, oh, East Coasters don't ever get any chases. And some people have actually gotten emails directly from Funko, you know, with notifying them of the delay in shipment. They are still going to get their Funko Pops, but something's happening there. Uh, they also released a figurette statue of Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses. Now, it's not a Funko Pop, so of course I'm not going to collect it. I'm also not a huge, huge fan of Guns N' Roses. And I had to say that this Funko Pop did remind me of someone else from another famous VH1 show. And no, I'm not talking about Flavor Flame. I'm talking about Brett Michaels. Yes, this figuresque statue looked exactly like Brett Michaels. It has the bandana, maybe Axl Rose and him were you know, splitting twins and, you know, spitting images of each other in real life. I don't know. I don't have the pictures for a comparison. I guess I can throw some in each corner and you guys can make a judge of it and write down in the comments what you think. I did, however, ask Justin and the first thing that came to his head, he said, was Brett Michaels. I said, who is this? He said, Brett Michaels. I said, nah, it's Axl Rose. Uh, they also are releasing a ton, a ton. And I should say, I'm sorry in advance that this is all news heavy information. A ton of 100 year Disney Funko Pops. They're also releasing some Warner Brothers Funko Pops. Uh, they have these really big pop moments, such uh, for Seven White and the Seven Dwarves, uh, The Wizard of Oz, Pinocchio. Uh, they, it wasn't The Lion King, this Lion King has something else, but they're, they're expensive. They're $60. I think they're a lot bigger than the average comic book ones that you know, the Superman, the Wonder Woman, and so on and so forth came in but $60 is a heavy price tag in compared to the other smaller ones that are in regular Funko Pop form there's a I had a sheet with all this information but going over this so many times I tried to remember uh, they have a Oswat the Lucky Rabbit uh, they have a Funko Pop of him and then they have a Soda Funko that you can actually get a chase version of him. He reminds me a lot like Mickey Mouse. They have a Mickey Mouse which is a Hot Topic exclusive that's coming out which is half colored in and the other one is like black and white so it's like newer version, older version which is pretty sick. They have a Walt Disney who's holding a little sketch of Mickey Mouse which every time I ever see anything with a throwback to Walt Disney just reminds me of the American Dad episode where they all got locked into a somewhat Disney world and he had everyone kill each other and Francine had to bake her famous cookies to bring the family back together. Uh, now I'm not getting any of these I'm not a huge Disney fan and with a price tag like 60 bucks I'm not going to get it at all. They also had a little sneak peek which was I guess for today but yesterday for an upcoming Funko Pop release and it was actually for a whole line of Shazam Funko but yes they released all these Funko Pops from Shazam they have a, a glow-in-the-dark version of himself they have about nine other ones which are with the saga and they have like a couple keychains with it a lot of, I didn't even know Shazam was this popular in the movie community and what is he in the Marvel Universe or DC I don't even know. The first move is actually pretty good. So I'm not hating on it. It was, it was actually pretty decent. Now, I have heard a lot of 
or I was going to say a lot of shit recently, and I'm going to say it, about the NFTs that were supposed to be released uh, in the forms of the Nickelodeons, like the Rugrats, and they also had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> the Transformers, sorry. It was Transformers and Rugrats. Uh, these two Funko Pops that were supposed to be released from Drop, a lot of people were receiving them, and at first when they got these Funko Pops pushed out, on the first batch, a lot of them were damaged. So they stopped production and they sent a letter to people saying, look, we're gonna look at the drawing board, we're gonna see you know, what's going on, where the reaches and development and try to fix this issue. Well, this has probably been going on for a couple months now and people haven't been getting anything. So I read somewhere today on Instagram that someone actually reached out and they got a letter back stating you know, that we're sorry that there is a continued release and there has been some, you know, communication errors, but there's no confirmation date when anyone would receive these NFTs from uh, Drop Funko. And these NFTs, you know, are, were really hot and really popular. They always sell out. So people are, you know, waiting months for these Funko Pops. And when they finally are, are willing or ready to, you know, claim them with their redemption tokens, they can't even get them because they're not available. So it's kind of like beat. So you're basically buying a Funko Pop and having to wait over a year just to receive it. Now, it's pretty common, you know, during the COVID time because shit was just like pushed back and released. But now since things have been open for a while, you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect that kind of stuff, right? And uh, another thing that was pretty cool is they are dropping today another Funko Pop. But this one is a triple A anime or I don't know why I just called it triple A if it's an anime. It's an anime, anime, anime release. I don't know what the triple A stand for. Of a Demon Slayer Pop. Whoa! I guess this time they're putting a pass on the Naruto Funko Pop and just put out a Demon Slayer. I am going to look into a Demon Slayer. I will take a look. I'll watch a couple fights. I do promise you I will get to it. But I actually watched a couple fights from another anime series for Funko Pops that I released and the sound didn't record. We'll go over that, you know, in another video. And I wasn't too happy with that. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Simona and Pumbaa with uh, Simba. They are having a Husky Funko Pop moment. It is one that I may buy. It's when, you know, he's older, when they're walking, there's like, Gua Matata. And that's, what the, oh, that's not the song. It's a very free philosophy. It was a Kuma Matata that I was thinking of. Yay. I got to go with that gut instinct. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, that's, you know, that price tag is only 30 bucks compared to the $60 of the Big Boppers or the Wizard of Oz and all those other Disney ones. And this one's a Walmart exclusive. So, you know, you just got to walk in the Walmart and be like, hey, let me get that uh, pop moment of the Lion King. I know you got it in the back. I know you're hiding them. I've actually never gone to Walmart. I've done that, but I'm sure you can do it. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am sorry this wasn't an A-plus episode, but hey, whenever I'm giving you material, it is always in the upper seas. I will see you later. You have a good one. Bye.